What I want to do today is create a weather graph that refreshes on our Google Slides daily. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial so you can try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. In order to complete this task, I'll need to use Zapier's weather app as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime the weather forecast changes, it's going to run this workflow. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click today's forecast as my event and click continue. We'll then need to fill out our trigger apps data. Look up the latitude and longitude for your selected zap and enter the coordinates into your zap. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click test trigger. You're all set with the first step. Let's move on to our first action step. In order to refresh our Google Slides forecast, we'll need to create a chart in our Google Sheets account. First, choose what forecast data you want to appear on your chart. I've typed in temperature low and temperature high and labeled them as degrees. I'll also want today's date to appear on my chart, so I'll type in equals today. Once I do that, I'll select chart on the insert dropdown and then choose column chart. I'll then change the title text to say weather forecast high slash low. Once that's complete, I can close this window and go back to my zap. Type in Google Sheets into the action search bar and select it on the drop down menu. Next, click Update Spreadsheet Row and click Continue. The first time we set up Google Sheets, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Google account. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. We'll then need to set up our action. Choose the spreadsheet and worksheet you'd like to use for your zap and then fill out your data accordingly. Under temperature low, I'll select temperature min and under temperature high, I'll select temperature max. Then I'll click continue. Once that's complete, select test action, click the plus and we can move on to our second action step. Go to your Google Slides app and select chart and then from sheets under the dropdown. Select the chart you would like to have in your Google spreadsheet. Make sure link to spreadsheet is selected and then click import. Once that's complete, go back to your zap. Type in Google Slides into the action search bar and select it on the drop down menu. Next, click refresh charts and click continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate Google Slides with Zapier, just like I did with Google Sheets. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click continue and we can start to assign our trigger apps data into the action apps field. Select the presentation you would like to use for your zap and click continue. Click test action and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now our Google Slides weather data will refresh every day. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier can do so much more with these two apps and thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.